It started more grandparents back than I can name. It, it, we've just always been farmers here in this area, my family has. But luckily I loved it. Uh, as growing up, I wanted to be out here and wanted to help my dad, so it was just something that I always enjoyed. We have a cow-calf operation. We have about 200 cow-calf pairs. Uh, in the cow-calf operation, we have uh, six bulls. We have two calving seasons, spring and fall. Right now, we've just started our fall calving season. I think we have five babies that we've had in the last three or four days. And uh, that keeps us busy che checking the cows morning and night. We also do a hay operation. We cut and bale our own hay. I usually cut the hay. Laura and Tracy scatter the hay for me, and then Rusty and I bale the hay, and Laura and, and Tracy rake the hay for us. Love to work in the hay. I think raking's my favorite thing. I don't usually cut or bale. I leave that, <laughs> leave that for Dennis or Rusty, but, um, but it's, I just love being here and, and just try to go along and do everything that's going on. So yeah, it's really my favorite place to be. I love my job at uh, teaching as well, but I think if this is where I'd want to be all the time, if, I, if that was my choice, I, this is where I'd prefer to be. I don't remember a time when I wasn't involved with the farm. I mean, they would stick me in the truck when they were working cows and I would just sort of have to hang out and sometimes I'd lock the doors and, um, but I always just helped um, check in the cows. I'd love to go see the new babies just like my kids. Um, it's like Christmas morning when you find a new baby. From building fence to I try to keep everything maintenance and ready to go anywhere from building a barn to pulling a calf to cutting trees off of fences to whatever it is. I love it. Uh, it's a beautiful place and it's a peaceful place to go um, just at the end of the day. I really want to know how we can improve uh, the product that we're going to be selling to the consumers. I want it to be good because I'm going to butcher these calves for myself, for my own family, and I want them to be the best that we can make them. My ultimate goal for this farm is, it, is for it to be preserved. I want it to carry on after I'm gone, and so part of that is in my children instilling a love for this place, a love for this lifestyle, and I see that every time we work cows or um, when they see a new baby being born, I just, I mean, their faces light up and I see that we are showing them that this is a good way of life and hopefully that that will continue.